found these tea towels at the dollar spot at Target. And they are one dollar and they're 18 by 18 inches. The first dress is going to be a low waist dress and I'm cutting off four inches from the top and four inches from the bottom and I'm putting my lining in the middle. The pattern is available on Etsy. And you get the high waistline and the low waistline in one package. Okay, I folded it just to make it easier to cut and I pressed a crease so that I could cut evenly. I'll have those measurements in the pattern. I like the tea towel because the edges, it's already hemmed for me. And now I'm taking the center of the tea towel and placing my lining in the middle. I will sew around the sleeves, around the neckline, the other sleeve, the neckline, and down the back on both sides. I did not sew the shoulders of the dress. I'm pinning or, or finger pressing, and you can use your iron also. The shoulder seam down. You'll see why. I'm the next step. Once again, clip your corners and curves so lie flat. Try not to cut your thread. I've clipped my corners so that I'll, I'll have a nice sharp edge. Okay, now you can turn everything to the right side. And of course, go to the ironing board. You'll see a huge difference in the unironed version. Here it is. And then the iron version is up next. Everything's flatter and all the same size. And I'll use my big knitting needle once again and push out the corners as sharp as I can get them. Okay, now it's time to sew the shoulders together. And you'll see the little flap that I have left after I turned under the lining part in a previous step. So what I'm doing is putting the shoulders together and I will sew the fabric part only right there. So you take that raw edge that you just sewed and you're going to tuck it into one side of your lining and then just take a few little hand stitches there and that's how I do my people clothes. It makes a really nice finish on the shoulder seams. Now I'm ready to attach the skirt to the bodice and I've, I'm making sure that I've got the same amount of fabric on both sides of the center of the bodice so that my gathers will be the same. And again, I'm pinning. That's my favorite way to gather. Just makes it even. And if I were using fabric, I would add more to the skirt, but since I only had 18 inches to work with, that's all I've got. I'm showing you that I probably would have added two more inches and then made the gathers fuller. 
you can leave just one skirt attached to the bodice but I'm going to do a what would you call that a double ruffle at the bottom and I've turned down that fabric and I'm going to gather once again making sure I've got the same amount of fabric on both sides of the center of the bodice and I'm going to pin my gathers and then just make a top stitch and there it is. You could leave the dress plain or you could put a Peter Pan collar and add a button. You could put ribbon around her waist, make a little bow. Um, I th oh, you can make a flower with three circles and add it either to the um, bottom of the dress or the top. And I even added three, just to show you how that would look. Um, you could put lace and buttons down the front. So use your imagination and add some details to the dress. I like this V collar. In fact, my next video will be how to make collars. I'm using my other tea towel to make a high waist dress. So I'm putting the pattern in the middle of the fabric so that I, I'll have finished edges for the skirt part. And after I made the bodice and I just deleted all my recordings, I realized that I didn't like the neckline on this one. So I took a piece of fabric and drew another pattern, and that's the one that'll be in the Etsy shop, this one. And if you're just using fabric instead of a tea towel, go ahead and fold your lining and then sew the neckline. But if you're using the center of a tea towel or a small piece of fabric, uh, you'll just put your lining on the fabric and cut it out. Okay, I'm folding the back of the bodice and I'm cutting a back opening. Sorry, I was off camera for a few seconds but you'll see that I've cut the back opening. And I will sew. I put right sides together, the lining, onto the fabric. And I'll sew up the back and around the collar. I'm showing you that I clip the seam or clip the corners and the curves as close as you can without clipping the the seams. And then I chopped off the corners. Now you can turn it to the right side and you're making sure that your corners are sharp. I use a um, big knitting needle just because the tip end of it's a little bit rounded and it doesn't punch through the fabric. And always, after each step, go to the ironing board. Some people hate to iron, but it makes your um, garments, even doll garments, look professional. If you'll press all those little corners that you just pushed through with the knitting needle. And while you're at the ironing board, I went ahead and pressed a hem in both the sleeves and the sleeve linings.
This may be the hardest part. You're going to separate the fabric from the lining and sew under the sleeve and also you'll do the same thing on the lining. So you are sewing a little L shape on both sides. Don't forget to cut as close as you can to your seam so that it will lie flat. I pulled my sleeve to the right side and now I'm pushing the lining through the sleeve. And it's a very neat finish. And I just tack it down with a couple of little hand stitches. On this, on the tea towel dress, I just um, put a serger edge on the sleeve. That's a little bit easier. And then you can turn it down or just leave it with the serger edge. Now back to the tea towel fabric. Um, I'm going to join the two pieces. I'll give the measurements within the pattern. And this will be the front seam. And you'll notice that the back seam and the hem is already finished within the tea towel. So I'm cutting off this bulk and I'll probably put a little zigzag on that unfinished edge. And I've got a lot more fabric to work with this time, so that means my gathers will be fuller. I'm pinning the right sides together of the bodice and the skirt, and I've pinned the center of the fabric and then I pinned it to the ends and then I'm trying what I'm trying to do is have equal amounts of fabric so that I can gather and this is my favorite way to gather I just use pins here she is you could leave the neck opening as it is or you could um, pull it down and put two little buttons on it And here they are in their high waist and low waist dresses. I've included the, the collar and the Etsy pattern with both dresses. Make them some cute shoes and I've included that link in my description box. Once again, thanks for watching.